Hey golfers, Paul here with Second Swing. Today I'm going to be doing my first impressions of the new driver line from Strixon, the ZX-5 and the ZX-7. So the ZX-5 is going to be the more forgiving of the two drivers. Uh, it has just one fixed weight uh, in the very rear of the driver. Uh, again, focus mainly on forgiveness. It's going to be maybe a little higher launching, a little uh, higher spinning than the ZX-7, but a little more forgiving. Uh, the ZX-7 has two movable weights, so you can give it more draw or fade bias, and ultimately it's just a little more adjustable for maybe that better player that wants to fine-tune the drivers a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is actually test the ZX-5 and the ZX-7 versus the previous generation Z785 driver. Just see what ball speed looks like uh, as far as the differences in ball speed, launch, spin, uh, just kind of overall impressions of the new drivers versus the old line. I actually have played the Z785 driver for quite a while, so I'm pretty familiar with it. Uh, I felt like it was a very underrated driver. It put out really good ball speed. Um, launch and spin were very good. I um, mean, it was a really good feeling driver. So again, this will be interesting to compare the new ZX7 versus the 785 directly and see how they compare. And then uh, also to throw in the ZX5 in the mix and just see how that compares to the, both of them. So the first thing that really stood out to me when I saw the drivers in person uh, was how they looked at a dress. So they have much more of a traditional pear shape. So if you think like more of a traditional, uh, like what a Titleist kind of looks like at a dress, much more uh, pear shape in this line. The, the previous uh, 785 and 585 drivers, a little more rounded shape, uh, a little deeper faced. These ones are a little longer heel to toe, uh, so maybe a little shallower face, um, but yeah, at a dress, much more traditional pear shape, so a lot more appealing to me, um, and maybe a lot more appealing to, let's say, that uh, better player, that lower handicapper is looking for more of a traditional looking club. All right, now I'm ready to jump into the testing. So I'm gonna start with the Z785 driver. Uh, I'm gonna use the same shaft on all the drivers. So there's gonna be, that variable is gonna be out of there. So it's really gonna be just head to head and see how the numbers kind of pan out. One thing I did notice is a much different sound and feel on the new ZX drivers versus the previous generation. Um, they're a little more high pitched sound, uh, but they're much sol more solid feeling at impact. So you really know when you get into one with the new ones, and even the miss hits still really feel uh, feel pretty solid. So um, the ZX5 actually did have a little higher pitch sound than the ZX7. So even within the two different heads, they were a little bit different, um, but overall still sound very good feel very good. Um, I would say a definite upgrade over the previous generation. All right, I've got the averages for the 785 here in white. I'm going to add in the averages for the ZX7 in yellow here. Uh, ball speed, almost three miles an hour of an increase. Uh, launch and spin, launch went up just slightly and actually spin went up a couple hundred RPMs. So carry distance went up a couple yards, but total distance about the same, just because of that extra spin. But we look at the ZX-5, ball speed jumped up almost 5 miles an hour different versus the 785. Uh, launch just slightly higher, but spin only jumped up by a, about 100 RPM. So because of that, almost 10 yards in carry difference with the ZX-5 versus the 785 driver. I dropped the loft down 1 degree on the ZX-5 driver, so you can see ball speed up to 159. Uh, launch went down just a little bit, spin went up just a little bit as well, uh, but because of that extra ball speed, it uh, ended up being 276 carry on average with the ZX-5 in this setting. Uh, so compared to the 785, it did hit uh, 10 yards longer in the carry yardage. Really both models were an improvement, but the ZX-5 really stood out 5, almost 6 miles an hour faster than the uh, previous generation. So I found the results very interesting. I was really surprised that I ended up liking the ZX-5 more than the ZX-7. Um, I'll, I'll be interested to do a little more fine tuning with shafts and adjustments to, to really dial it in, but so far to me it was actually hands down, I prefer the ZX-5 over the ZX-7. Um, it was just a little more forgiving of a head, uh, a little more draw bias in it, which helped me kind of square the face up a little bit better. Um, and it, again, it just felt really good, looked really good. So it, this uh, ZX-5 was really the winner in my book. The entire line of Strixon ZX Woods goes into pre-sale on January 6th, so make sure to jump on secondswing.com and schedule your fitting. Uh, Strixon offers a huge number of shafts, uh, no upcharge in their catalog, so it's really important that you get with a fitter to make sure you get the right head and shaft combination. Um, so if you are looking to get a new driver this year, make sure you try out the new ZX line of Woods from Strixon. 